Robert's on with us, and Robert studied the writings of St. Bonaventure. Well, Bonaventure was one of the great theologians in the Catholic tradition. He was regarded as the second founder of the Franciscan order. And uh, he, he entered the Franciscan order. He didn't know St. Francis because he was just uh, born in the 1220s and Francis died in 1226. So he's just, he was a child when Francis died, an infant. And uh, I think Bonaventure was born in 1221. And uh, he died in, I believe, 1274. And he taught at the University of Paris, le left from Italy and went to Paris. And his colleague at Paris was Thomas Aquinas, also from Italy, from Rocca Secca, south of Rome. And the two of them uh, were a pair of marvelous thinkers and men of faith. And they kind of stand at the height of the Middle Ages, bearing two aspects of our tradition. Thomas Aquinas, the great philosopher, the great man of reason, the great man of arguing the truth of the faith in a reasonable way. And the key to that for him always was, let's have the counter argument. Let's not be afraid. If you have some question, pose the counter argument. And in his writings, he always proposes this counter argument. He says, we, we believe in the Trinity, but someone might argue that this is against the unity of God. So he, he always uses the phrase, said contra, which is but on the contrary. Said is but in Latin, contra uh, on the contrary. Aquinas would always say, our belief is this, but on the contrary, someone might argue this. And then he would refute the argument. Bonaventure was more of a mystic theologian and more of a contemplative. And he wrote his great work on called Itinerarium Mentis in Deum, the journey of the mind to God. And uh, Pope Benedict the Sixteenth wrote his doctoral dissertation in Germany on the on some aspects of the thought of Saint Bonaventure. And uh, he said that uh, this rising from thought and from the senses and from the experiences of this life to the supreme, to the ultimate, to God, is the journey in some way that each of us must make. And the church provides for us the sacramental way of the seven sacraments which bring us into contact with Jesus Christ, the very God, and through baptism, through confession, through communion, through confirmation. And uh, Bonaventure was a marvelous theologian. He went to Laverna and meditated on what had occurred there to St. Francis, where he had his great moment of identification, full and utter identification with Jesus in the stigmata in 1224. Bonaventure went back there in the 1250s when he was a young priest. He was about to become the head of the Franciscan order, and he was about to write the life of St. Francis. Uh, he became the head of the order in 1260, and then he lived into the 1270s as leader of the Franciscans and a great theologian in Paris. And therefore, when we celebrate the Feast of St. Bonaventure today, we're talking about the, the man who taught us, the man who reflected on the way of St. Francis and the way that each of us must take to 
rise from sensible things and from all the things around us, which all of us share, we all know, the passage of time to the eternal, from the contingencies of time to the absolute steadfastness of God. And it really relates to what Father Tony said so beautifully today about uh, Our Lady of Mount Carmel. Uh, each of us, through this little cloud which appears on the horizon in the desert of our, of our doubt, in the desert of our lives, sometimes I think Father Tony himself today is like that little cloud in a sense. He's a He's a sign that rain will come. Hi, thanks for stopping by the channel and make sure you don't miss any of the great content that's coming up. Subscribe to the channel. You're gonna click on the little red button. And then once you do, there's gonna be a bell right on the right hand side. Click on the bell, a drop down menu will appear and you wanna make sure you click all to receive all the notifications of all the great content that's coming up. Thank you.